Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So this is a BoxyCharm for the month of February. Just received it um, the other night. So I wanted to go ahead and open it. So um, it is on a big side. Um, it has been fluctuating in, in the size. Um, pretty heavy. And this is, I've gotten smaller boxes. Uh, this one is bigger and pretty heavy. I'm not saying that um, I, I'm loving the size, don't get me wrong, but I did notice that the heaviness or the size of it does not mean good or bad products. Um, you just you you just never know. Uh, usually, uh, like I've had cases where I had this one just like this size, big size, like they had the originals, but I would have like a huge uh, bottle of like cleanser, which I don't really care for, right? I want something more fancy. And then I had a smaller box full boxy charm but that one actually had very nice products even though they're smaller in size but because they're more expensive the box was smaller as well just to accommodate the smaller items in there so bigger and heavier does not mean better but we'll check it out i haven't opened it i just unsealed so that i don't have to like mess with the seal but I unsealed it beforehand, so I'm going to be opening and seeing everything for the first time with you. So let's go ahead and begin. First things first, beautiful Valentine's theme brochure or pamphlet or insert. And then here, if you want to pause it, just check it out. Um, I do want to wish you a beautiful Valentine's. Let me just, while I talk, you can pause it. Um, or just screenshot it. Um, I want to wish you a beautiful Valentine's Day. If you are not celebra celebrating or you don't have a special one, I hope you do something special for yourself. That's where the self-love comes in. So I hope you do something nice for yourself at least. Why not celebrate any holiday that they gave you, right? You just gotta make something out of it. So the first thing is here. It's Oh boy, I am was trying to pronounce it. I don't know what it is. It's Ilamaska. I don't even know if there's a, another way to pronounce that. Ilamaska. And this is a setting spray. Ooh, okay. Very interesting. You see my little thumbs now. So the packaging kind of leaves. Let, let's go ahead and open it. Setting spray. Very unique, very different. I've never heard of this company. I haven't seen it mainstream. So... Okay, I figured the box is way bigger than the spray itself. Definitely looking forward to trying this. Very unique. Um, stands out from the rest of them, just with the packaging, with the black and yellow. Lightweight, do we... So definitely looking forward to trying this. Um, I'm kind of almost out of my normal one. Plus, when I travel, you know, you want to have a mini size. So definitely looking forward to trying this and letting you guys know how I feel about it or if it's any good. If you tried it, let me know so that if, if it's not that good, maybe I'll skip it. And then next item is Bali Balm, pineapple lip scrub. Ooh, pineapple lip scrub. I've never actually had a pineapple one. That's creative. So here you go, the ingredients. Ingredients are pretty good. Made in USA, and then they squeeze in the London in there. Let me see if I can open it and smell it. So yeah, I would just, I do have like a scrub or two. I don't use it as often as I should. Let me show it to you. It's kind of white, kind of like um, off-white, not cream. But even from here, this is a little bit too far from my face right now, but I could smell it all the way to my nose. And it's a super nice, it's a very nice smell. It's not like, um, it's not chemical smell. It's super nice. It's not like heavy, annoying smell. You do smell pineapple and it's, it's kind of subtle, but not really. To the point where like I want to lick it, but I don't think it's edible. So um, definitely very nice. I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, I usually just use like a old toothbrush on my lips and that works beautifully. The next item is, let's see here, detox, detox mask green tea blend. And this is a matcha lemongrass clay sealed. Love my masks. 
Uh, I prefer to, uh, the sheet masks, but uh, obviously this is way better than the sheet masks just because this is actually has something that has plenty to absorb. And these are some nice, good items in here. Um, I don't like the messiness of these kind of clay masks, but it is what it is. If you have like a, a day where you don't mind getting a little messy or you're going to be washing your hair, why not, right? Why not? Especially if it works. Okay, it looks like we have two palettes, which is very unique and very different. So first thing is Wonder Beauty, Wondrous Escape. Let me go ahead and open it. Let me show you the colors. Beautiful colors. Is it sealed? It is sealed, you guys. Let me see if I can carefully open it without really damaging it. Let's see here. I just want to show you the colors. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit off, I spoke on the previous video, I'm a little bit off the um, the powder eyeshadows just because of my contacts. My eyes get dried out super fast, so this is the packaging. So I kind of um, moved on to cream eyeshadows. So let me take this away so you can see the colors. So the colors do, the colors... Okay, so the colors are not showing as well on on the video. Maybe not exactly. So this is super dark uh, brown. This is like a nice light brown-ish. Not as yellow as, as it's shown on the video. Um, this has a little bit of kind of mauve color to it. And then this is a mix of kind of like teal ocean color with a little... Um, glitter in it kind of uh or metallic i would say metallic more um this is kind of like a gold so i would say the browns are the only ones that kind of you can't really see this has a lot of yellow in it so these two are very similar but this one is kind of like a light brown this one has a little bit more yellow to this and this is darker and this is the darkest one as you can see so I was hoping, well, you see my hand, so I'm, I'm trying to see why the colors don't don't show as well. Let me see um, if I can change the lighting on my, let me see if it works out. Oh, sorry, this is just me. That's not exactly what it does. Let's see the mode. Trying to find the perfect, I think this is, yes, I think this is very close. So you guys, I had to change the color, so I'm sorry if it's not as bright, but I just wanted you to see the real um, colors of this. And this is super close to what it is in real life, actually. So you can see this better now. So I'm just going to leave the lighting at this setting for now, and we're just going to finish it off just because it gives you a better, um, better um, view of how true the colors are in real life so I'm not gonna be using it just because again the dry eyeballs and then the next item is super nicely packaged ace beauty glow essentials highlighter palette I'm loving this box I have to say the fact that we have two palettes usually um, I do have a base uh, subscription so this is the cheapest that they have they did go up in price uh possibly because of the shipping charges you know the shipping has to go up so they have to raise the prices and plus the buyout of the boxy charm i'm sure that had an effect on it as well and then on top of it like i said i'm paying the base box i don't really look forward to spending more just because it never kind of i never really enjoyed the products that they sell on the more expensive boxes so i have the base one the simplest one and i'm pretty happy with it um and then uh the fancier and more palettes you get in the more expensive boxes so i'm super surprised and super happy the fact that they included both palettes you actually have an eyeshadow palette and you have a, a face palette so let me show you this let me see if this is the true colors so this does not show the true colors as much. So this is very pink. This is kind of like Barbie 
light pink. Yeah, let me see if I can do it again with a different color again. Let me see. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to show you. I mean, this is, you see now the differences in like yellows and golds. There's a lot of gold in here. It doesn't really show you. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at this. I think I'll just leave it at here. Sorry, it might be a little blurry, but I think this is the true. Why is it blurry? Here you go. So I think this is the realist color that you will see. So here you go. So we have icy, we have glowing, we have, what is it, popping. Then the next one is radiant, gleaming, and beaming. I would be using possibly this pink one, looks nice, and this. This is a little bit too icy for me right here. And then this would be too goldy. So possibly this one, because this one has a little bit of a kind of like a rose tint to it somewhat. So this is it, you guys. Uh, loving the box. I'm just going to change it back here maybe um, just so it's a little bit cooler tone. Loving the box, loving the palettes. Um, I think everything is super nice. I'm looking forward to trying the lip scrub, uh, the setting spray. You pretty much have, you can do your face right here with everything that's in this box. You know, take care of your skin with a clay mask, take care of those lips. Then you have the eyeshadows, you have the, the face palette, which is lovely. So I'm definitely loving this box. Quite a few products, very fancy. The fact that they included two palettes is super cool compared to the previous months because like I said, usually they um, they give pal like full blown palettes or more than one to more expensive subscriptions, not to the basic one, which is what I have. So that's, that's actually really nice. So this is a nice surprise, maybe because of Valentine's Day, who knows, but um, I'll take it, I'll take it all. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope you have a wonderful and peaceful and happy an exciting Valentine's Day that's coming up. I hope you're well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.